Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for December 15th, 2023. Well, let's take a look at what happened overnight. First off, we had Asian markets uh, mostly up last night, doing pretty good. Uh, China posted some mixed economic data where their factor of growth increased, but their uh, consumer uh, continues to show some weakness on uh, that side of things. And so they ended up finishing down just um, 16 and a half points, but continuing to show that weakness there. European markets are mostly higher this morning as well, with only the FTSE being ever so slightly down by half a percentage point after uh, the ECB um, keeps rates flat. And then this morning, we've got the futures here in the US uh, building another gap up this morning with a pretty good pop across the board here on our futures. We have oil this morning. Oil is also up, continuing to climb after yesterday's move. So looking bullish in oil this morning and our bond yields are holding in there pretty flat. The two year bond um, holding in there at 4.38. Um, so just kind of hanging in there um, at the moment. Um, we'll see if we can continue to stretch these bonds higher um, on the confidence here in the market. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here this morning. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts, see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Try to shake off a little bit of bias and see what we've got going on here. Well, first off, looking at the diamonds, we have broken out to all time highs here on the diamond, showing lots and lots of strength. And as I suggested, um, there was a pretty good chance that we would continue that stretch uh, just simply because we've got a couple other indexes that haven't quite made that breakout. And the market seems relentless in getting there. Um, you know, don't look at PE rates shows and and don't look at logic at all just um, close your eyes and hurry up and buy something it's kind of the mood the market is in right now we're getting an awful lot of chase an awful lot of parabolic charts but that being said there's every reason to believe here in the market that diamonds can continue to go on higher with um, what we're seeing in the futures this morning so keep an eye on that as we continue to stretch. Remember, we've got blue sky above. There are no resistance levels up there in the chart now in the diamonds. Now, if the bears were to come back with a little bit of disappointment in some of the data, then we might push back down toward this trend and maybe some price support, retest that breakout level here on the chart, which is a fairly common thing. If we hold in there, then there then we just continue to follow the trend to the upside. So keep an eye on the diamonds. If we take a look at our SPY, our SPY, continuing to move on up and stretch. And this morning we're trying to push a little bit um, here you can see right there on that line is that little pink candle right there. Um, that's where we're at this morning. Um, trying to push on through here, I think um, as we look at this chart, um, lots of reason to consider this moving on higher still. Um, remember all time highs will be up here, a new record. So it would seem kind of disappointing, wouldn't it? To uh, get all dressed up and get this much work done and then just miss that mark by that much. So I think there's going to be a pretty um, invested effort here by the market, institutions, uh, big banks, everything to make those record highs because that draws um, headlines and brought, brings more money into the market. Now, looking at this, if we were to take a look and see if we find that bullish um, um, data here today, then I think um, our push up here into this next level of resistance is 
very possible and up toward those all-time highs. If for some reason we happen to find some bearish data today and the bears start coming in and just relax a little bit going into Friday, that could be the case. Then a test of this area for support. Slipping below that, then we're going to start looking at probably these individual candles. Some price support there, some price support here. Now, albeit if we really drop through into that on the SPY, then there's that possibility we come right on back into this level here, testing some support support and if you look across here where I've got this upside trend we could easily shift this trend to look more like this and then we've got that support level in here that could be substantial for the S&P 500. Let's take a look um, at our uh, QQQ. QQQ is another index that's really trying to stretch on up here and test that all-time high and see if we can pop and hit a new record here in QQQ with the strength and the enthusiasm there that there has been in uh, big tech giants it, it seems like um, pretty high probability that we could continue to stretch um, so watch this area right in here we broke through this um, resistance yesterday trying to hold it here so if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration to stretch up into here on a friday finish up this week doesn't seem to be all that um, um, uh, impossible. In fact, it, it seems to be quite possible to me uh, for that push out and try to get those all-time highs here and that record in the QQQ. Now, if the bears, if the bears were to find inspiration today, testing this support level and holding would be important. A breakdown below that, and then we've probably only got these candles here to be thinking about for those levels of price support um, in the chart and then possibly this trend. So keep a keep an eye on those. IWM had a really good day yesterday. IWM is trying to catch up all at once here in the market. So a really big push yesterday, breaking through this downtrend, breaking through this resistance in the chart. So let's take a look and see where we go. If we can continue that move, then our next little level is right there in the chart. So if we can continue to see that bullishness um, um, here in the market as we're showing in the pre-market, maybe a push up into here to test that resistance. Breaking through that level would be pretty remarkable in this straight up move. And then I think um, the next level would be somewhere right in here on the chart across those resistance levels right in there. If the bears were to um, get active today, then our support levels are probably going to be maybe like the top of that candle right there to see if we can hold first. If that holds, um, there we're in great shape. If it doesn't hold, maybe that possibility we come back down and we start testing the bottom side of that candle, testing that uh, trend support in the chart. So watch that um, as those levels um, to be paying attention to this morning. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, um, even as we rose yesterday, our VIX reversed and went back up, which is interesting to see with the enthusiasm that we have seen in the market and the idea of no fear um, here in the market. Seeing the VIX going back up yesterday, leaving a bit of a morning star pattern here on um, a support level, would suggest that there are quite a few people thinking that we are seriously overextended in the market and the, that that pullback could begin at any time. But that being said, um, we're still in a situation of extreme complacency here in the VIX. No one is fearing anything out there in the market. Um, it's kind of like the perfect storm of bullishness and we are celebrating big time on that bullish side. So if the bears were to get something going here today, we might see that little bit of fear pop above that downtrend. That's only going to be important if we end up holding above that downtrend. Just popping through won't mean much of anything. If the bulls come back in on this and, and um, say we're not, we're not afraid at all going into the weekend, every reason to believe that we could push back down.
down here into this support level. If we take a look at our T2122, boy, our T2122 is pretty much limited out. We're up here at 97.90 at the close, and we're gapping higher this morning. So there's not much room here. If there was a chance of a pop and drop, I think today might be the day where we kind of just exhaust everything on the buyer side and um, we gap up into the morning and then we see that possibility that sellers come in and they start wrapping up positions heading into the weekend, uh, grabbing some gains from this really, really extended position here in the chart. And in, in all of my 30 years of, of trading, I've never seen a situation, and I've seen some extremely um, bullish rallies. I've seen some extremely exuberant um, rallies in the market, and I have not seen where we can peg this to the top up here and then just keep rallying. Um, so just remember at any moment in time, the sellers could come in, some profit taking could occur. So watch that carefully. Um, what this says is we've opened up a very big opportunity on the bear side if um, those bears happen to get anything they can grab a hold of and wake up. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108 had a good day yesterday, um, stretching on higher here, finally breaking through. But one of the things we have to pay attention to is once again, we're up here in that very, very rare, rarefied place in the market where we're so bullish here and so exuberant that we're pushing everything to a, to a limit here. I think with a gap up this morning, we could easily see us popping up up into these levels here in the chart. Now, that being said, there's nothing in here that says bears yet, but um, just simply that extreme overextension might bring in the bears, and we see that um, little bit of concern starting to show up in the VIX. So um, just be careful here. Remember, the last one to buy is the one that gets punished the most. So be careful here in chasing to the upside in the market. If we look at T2107, uh, very much the same thing, stretching up here, big move, and we're gapping up this morning here in the IWM, trying to push this on higher and really do some catch up. And anytime we get up into this mid 65 um, area here, we're really starting to reach that extreme level. Again, there's no bears here showing, every reason to believe we can push on higher here, but just remember, chase this too far the last one in the door is the one that gets punished the most so be very very careful here as we push up into these levels and then if we take a look at t2101 the good news is for the bulls here we had breadth increasing yesterday so that bullish breadth push to the upside uh, confirming that move yesterday showing lots and lots of strength of those bulls and I think there's every reason to believe that may stretch even more today pushing back up we'll see after this gap up this morning though how well that holds heading into the weekend I'm I'm a little bit skeptical that we can continue to just wildly buy with blind abandonment um, and not um, eventually see the um, the things out there that um, are, are showing us were overextended. So just watch that carefully. Um, I'm not trying to build a bias into this at all. I'm just saying, uh, just try not to chase. Try not to chase. I know it's hard not to do that. That fear of missing out is very, very powerful here in the market. Then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, we've got a couple things to be paying attention to. Um, Empire State manufacturing numbers will be out this morning. Industrial production, which is the most important number for today. You'll notice that they're looking at that industrial production to improve from a negative 0.6 to 0.3 and uh, capacity utilization and looking at that coming up to 79.1, which would show um, that industrial 
industrial production picking back up here in the market. So watch that one closely. If those numbers come out, that could certainly continue to drive the bulls. And then um, PMI composite flash on Baker Hughes rate count. And we're going to wrap it up for the week on the economic calendar. On the earnings calendar, there isn't a whole lot to go on here this morning. We've got really one notable earnings report this morning in Darden. Uh, um, so keep an eye on this today as they report. And that's the only um, major notable uh, of consequence here this morning that I can find. Of course, Costco um, reported after the bell yesterday, continued to stretch on higher. We're getting a little pop and drop here in the pre-market on Costco. So um, watch that closely. Uh, JBL had a good report yesterday, really stretching um, to the upside here, um, breaking to the top side of this channel maybe we push on through on that one so watch that carefully and then Lennar um, Lennar also continued to stretch big time yesterday to the upside and you can see maybe pulling back here a little bit that parabolic move might be getting a little bit on the carried away side here in Lennar so let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos i true um uh, please do me that favor and click that um a bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video click that subscribe button and also if you feel like the video was worthy if it was helpful to you for the day please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow those comments are very very important to me and I try my best to answer as many and, and try to get catch them all um, obviously there's days where things um, get out of control for me and I can't answer all of those but I do want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do it I truly truly appreciate it and also let me give you a, a, a quick update here for everyone who took the time to vote on that to wood carving I've been getting a lot of comments about that um, thank you so much for those um, um, who um, voted for that wood carving i think i finished up I, i'm guessing i i didn't finish in the uh, you know in any of the winning categories um on that um the last time i looked i think i was there's five available winning spots i think i'm sixth place so <laughs> that's okay it was just really really fun to complete compete and thank you to everyone who had um I took the time to vote on that. I truly appreciate it. And I will let you know how it all comes out. If, if there's anything that happens, I will certainly let you know. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember, everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. Remember, we're extremely extended. The chances of a pullback occurring at any time are, um, the probabilities are high. So with that that being said, be really careful with um, um, with some of these because, boy, um, anything is possible here. Let's take a look at a few things. Boy, one of the things that um, you guys know that I've talked about over and over and over is how strong this move here is in the uranium play. And as the dollar continues to show weakness, let's take a look at that UUP continuing to show weakness here. There's every reason to believe that we could have um, CCJ, uranium plays, commodity plays moving higher this morning. As a matter of fact, we've got gold moving up this morning. Gold futures are up another $12.80 at 2057 an ounce. So we're continuing to see those commodities rise. And uh, I got to say this resting pattern in here on CCJ is looking really, really good. And we're trying to push here through to the upside. So keep an eye on that. Um, UEC is another big volatility the last couple of days in here with all the emotion of the market. But keep an eye on some of those commodity plays looking good. As I mentioned, gold um, um, up $12 an ounce trying to stretch through here today. Keep an eye on that one. We also would want to look at anything in the mining sector. Um, miners out here, GDX, you know, if you take a look like um, Newmont Mining um, breaking through up here 
into some resistance, uh, popping through just barely, little rest consolidation in here sets up an opportunity. And you can look across um, uh, so many of these. There's, there's just bullishness all over the place in some of these stocks. Um, when we start looking into um, silver and gold plays here in the market. Let's also take a look at that oil sector. Um, if the dollar is going to continue to fall, we might want to be keeping an eye on this energy sector. XLE breaking through resistance, this downtrend resistance here on that big move yesterday. Um, any rest or pullback now sets up that opportunity maybe to resume some upside here in energy. Of course, that wouldn't be good for the Fed because um, energy declining has been really the major factor that helps CPI stay flat if the CPI if suddenly we start to see oil prices go back up I think that CPI could actually move back up there's a chance anyway move back up and show some more problems on the inflation side but we'll want to watch that closely if oil stays pretty subtle here stays pulled back we're going to be in good shape so watch that carefully in here as that continues to break on higher places that um, have just been really really impressive are some of the old boring companies here i think what we're starting to see is we're starting to see a little bit of softness coming into some of the tech giants um, that the, those runs may be coming to an end and we're starting to see the that um, uh, rollover or that uh, rotation into some old boring companies like 3M. Nice breakthrough this downtrend here pushing on through. I think any rest or pullback sets up that opportunity here in 3M. You know, uh, when we start looking at KHC, boy, KHC has just been hated, 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 hated for so long. Now, all of a sudden, it's getting all kinds of love here in the market. So yesterday, it pulled back. That's what it needs. Little rest, little consolidation, little pullback into here. Look for that next opportunity there in KHC. Very, very strong. You know, other places, when you take a look at some of the airlines out there, UAL, we identified this one in RWO, uh, which is right way options. We identified uh, this um, on this nice little popping candle. Beautiful follow through yesterday to the upside. Um, nice little pattern here. So looking at UAL, you can look at AAL. Uh, very strong here in American Airlines, um, really stretching up. Now, we will be coming into some price resistance up here, as you can see, but um, any rest or pullback seems that it would set up an opportunity. You can also take a look at um, anything on the travel side. Um, Airbnb having this big stretch here recently to the upside. Any resting pullback as we deal with this resistance, whether it's a pop through and then hold or we rest underneath it, could set up those next opportunities to the upside. Plenty of places to be looking in the market for the trades. The hard part is finding a trade that's not already so super extended that you can actually do anything with it for the moment. As you guys know, I was mentioning lows this week. There's that beautiful pattern in lows. Bang. Um, when, when we get a chart that pushes up through a resistance area and then it rests back and it moves over here to trend, and we have this nice, concise consolidation in here. This is a place where you want to set a price alert and wait for the trade. You don't have to anticipate. You don't have to predict anything. You just have to wait. And I know that's a hard thing, but that's really how I've built my career in a trade in trading is just waiting for the trades to occur, identify them, and pow. And there you go. Big upside move there in lows. Now breaking through this next level of price resistance. This needs a rest or pullback now, but that's okay. Wait for that next move. Rest, pull back, consolidate. Find that trend out here and then look for the next entry into the trade. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to... Um, wind this video up this morning. Um, remember, there is no blog today. Um, it's a no blog Friday. Um, so um, thank you so much to everyone who participates in these videos, watches these videos. Thank you. I truly, truly appreciate it. I want to wish you all of the best today and just a wonderful, wonderful weekend ahead. Be careful, be safe. Have an awesome weekend.